What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Stump. And I got nothing planned for this video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 1.37 release notes. And the main points of this update are the friend and clan member activity information, the match end sequence, post-match summary, new custom game options, updated audio settings, safe areas added to game UI, and map updates as well as bug fixes. So we're going to go through all these now so the activity information is exactly what you expect it lets you know when your friends or clan members have been online last so as you can see there's different tiers and it goes from online recently which is like the past couple of days so if they were on yesterday and it goes all the way up to played over a year ago so this way you'll be able to determine who you keep as your friends so you could make better choices and all that and it says that in the developer comments it says this feature was a popular request from players to help with friends and clan members management management mince mince meat management <laughs> allows players to evaluate better who to keep and who to remove which for me and for other content creators out there who get friend request spams out the wazoo i had to disable friend request notifications again anyways moving on match end sequence they're improving the match end sequence by streamlining player performance information now and what they did is that they cleaned up match end sequence by eliminating non-essential information like kills it's the only thing i noticed in this picture here but it does tell you who the mvp is and they also added the ability to play the same game mode again which is what the returning button i believe is for so now exiting the match is now an intentional action by the player and then when a party leader chooses to continue all party members will join the next match together which i think is very useful because you want your entire team to keep playing the same game mode not accidentally getting disconnected in the lobby a side note here uh, the ability to play the same game mode again without visiting the lobby will be available sometime after the release once they conclude testing so hopefully we can see that fairly soon after it releases out of beta all right now there's post match summary which taking a look at these pictures here it looks like you'll be able to see the exact elo you need to get to the next rank as well as looking at all of the matches you've played up to that point so it says here, after match, the summer screen will display the player's performance, including statics, st st statics. I can't speak. I don't speak English. I speak in sarcasm. Thank you very much. <laughs> including statistics such as kills, deaths, assists, and other relevant metrics like matches, MVPs, and wins. It displays the player's total XP gained from the matches, and it displays the player's progress to any rewards and unlocking the Operation Pass, as seen here. The summary screen provides the exact ranked matchmaking net rating necessary for promotion and demotion. All right, for the developer's comments, they say the players can use the summary screen to understand what they must do to improve their game and how they can get to, wait hold on players can use the summary screen to understand what they must do to improve their game and how they can continue earning rewards uh yeah like someone's gonna look at their kills deaths and the and say huh i died a lot that last game maybe i shouldn't die as much what no that's not how you know what to do to improve your gameplay i've said it before i'll say it again you need a replay system if you want to know exactly what you're doing wrong. Just looking at the stats in your game doesn't help you very much. And the only way to get better at Critical Ops is to watch your replays to see the mistakes that you made. And the only way you can make your own replays is by recording on your own device, which on some devices, space is limited. And video files that are like 40 minutes long are very large. I don't know enough about game coding to know exactly how this all works but i know for a fact that data saving is much more efficient than video saving well anyways that's my rant moving on new custom game options uh they are releasing a new custom game rework they've enabled a lot of new customization options in the core modes now you can adjust things like the economy and change some wind conditions and exploring new opportunities for making your own fun and some options might not exist anymore due to the reworks, but they're working on new features for these custom games. And they've also enabled the ability to host some event game modes like Manhunt and Defend, 
which I love those game modes. The manhunt is really fun. Defend is very fun as well. However, there are limited options for customizing those kinds of game modes. But one game mode they are bringing to this new update is called tournament mode, which is basically all the same rules for rank diffuse and the official tournament rules as well so they don't have to set up anything so all they have to do is just select the game mode and everything's already pre-made for them so maybe that could come in the future where you can create your own game modes and share it with like a custom id for the game mode itself kind of like what fortnite does maybe <laughs> And I'm just rattling off ideas here. However, the only downside is that there's only English translations, which it's my third language, so it's, it's going to be hard for me. Updated audio settings, so now you can adjust the master volume with the slider and also the music volume. And when they say music volume, it also means like the victory screen music and the lobby music as well. Because, man, when you have your headphones turned all the way up, it blares. But there are some pretty good bangers there. All right, safe areas added to game user interface. A safe area component renders the content within the safe area boundaries of a device and leaves nice padding on the device's screens edges related to the user interface content. I'm guessing the safe area is the area where you can interact with the game because I my phone here is uh, pretty long, so there's like black bars on the side, so I'm guessing that that is the... Uh, safe area so anyway these are the different menus they uh updated this with and i don't think you really care about that all right moving on uh map updates they updated a lot of the assets for higher visual fidelity probably to help with lower end devices uh, updated and or added more reverb for a more immersive audio experience so now you can go death faster in vents awesome added different bullet impact sounds for weak metal and weak wood objects Okay. Updated UI to reflect current state of the maps, loading screen, and history thumbnails. And optimized minor things under the hood. What does that mean? Like within the code itself? I don't know. All right. For Bureau, fix several bomb stuck spots, uh, canals, added colliders to smooth in our crouching near walls, cargo fix, the death spot, and the breach spawn area. No! No! That was my favorite spot! Why would you get rid of it? I remember this one time I was in a pub lobby, and I ended up starting it, unfortunately. Uh, it was a peaceful pub lobby, which is very, very uncommon. And we were all just hanging around the crane, just doing the, the death glitch there. Uh, and for those who don't know about it, you just back yourself into it and then turn really fast to the right, because that's the only way you can make it work. It was really fun up until like new players started joining, then they, they just ruined it. I can't believe they're removing that. All right, moving on. All right, Casello, there is a lot here. Okay, uh, fixed a gap to the void. Okay, fixed bomb stuck spots. I knew there were like a couple. Fixed issues where a transparent texture would become opaque on the lowest graphic settings. We don't know what opaque means. It means uh you can see it uh added colliders specifically for thrown items like frags flashes and smokes in the garden area and ace sites i'm assuming that means the gazebo not entirely sure we'll have to look at that uh, updated how characters appear in the victory screen i'm assuming they changed the location of where the victory screen will appear uh, excuse me up here and lastly they added something important dot 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 i wonder what that could mean Maybe it's part of the lore. All right, division. Added colliders to smoothen out crouching their walls. All right. Uh, updated how characters appear on the victory screen. Okay, so they changed the victory screen location again. For gallery, uh, added accessible catwalk to the courtyard area. Grounded. You mean legacy? That's an error. Someone in uh, quality assurance uh, get on that. <laughs> Uh, change colliders on several objects to improve bullet penetration and added colliders to mitigate exploits. Heat, improved performance, impasse, separated ledges near stairs so that the top part can be penetrable. Okay. Legacy, updated the courtyard bombsite to reflect the changes made to gallery. Yep, that that's an inconsistency. You guys gotta, you gotta stay on top of this. <laughs> I can't be pointing this out in a video. You guys already gotta have this down. You're a professional company worth millions of dollars, I assume. All right, and lastly, added something important. Hold on. Added something important in Casello and added something important in Legacy. 
It's the lore. Uh, overhaul, uh, fixed stuck spots. Uh, I'm assuming that's the uh, grounded uh, elimination map. All right, plaza, redesigned B site, although not majorly. Added cover underneath the big sign in mid, so that way you don't head glitch there anymore. Uh, fix some missing geometry outside the playable area. Okay, fix bumps stuck. Bleh. Fix bomb stuck spots. Improved performance. Cool. Purify. Updated the end game mini map. Raid. Fixed bomb stuck spots. All right. Soar. Fixed bomb stuck spots. Changed colliders on several objects to improve bullet penetration. All right. And updated non playable area. Shanty. Added something important. The lore. It's the lore. Lore. <laughs> Village. Fixed death spots. Fixed bomb stuck spots. And updated how characters appear on the victory screen. So changing the location of that. A tutorial. Fixed several minor bugs. Fixed missing audio on door opening. And updated car explosion cinematic. All right. Let's read the developer's comments. Because there's a lot of adding something important. And uh, updating non-playable areas for whatever reason. There's, there's, there is a reason for it. So let's figure out what they are saying about it certain maps will now look better than before and not only that there will be some non-visual changes as well make sure to check out every single map to see and hear what has changed we'll keep improving the maps to maximize the game experience thank you our community for reporting issues and providing other feedback related maps okay so i think there's going to be adding some audio cues to certain maps which is what the something important is probably going to be so shanty legacy and casello are all going to have something important and also as well as soar having an updated non-playable area not sure exactly what that means but we're going to find out and then here's the bug fixes and i know you really don't care about the bug fixes so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and also let me know down in the comments what you think the important things are being added to these maps and also let me know down in the comments if you want to see some gameplay from the 1.37 beta and as always stay safe bye bye